Dr. Daniel C. Falkowski, uh, professor or professor emeritus from Canisius College. Well, uh, we have a vegetable garden in the back. My I uh, tend to take care of the vegetables. My wife tends to take care of all the flowers. We have a lot of roses uh, uh, in here. They're you're past the the bloom for roses, but some of the other flowers are still uh, still blooming. Uh, all gardeners are always optimists because what whatever didn't do well this year is going to do better next year. Yeah, this is Ramsey. He's uh, raised in Massachusetts under the name I Want to Be a Big Shot. And uh, we adopted him. He's six years old this uh, 4th of July. He was born on the 4th of July. Hi, my name is Catherine Fagan, and I live at 50 University Circle. Down Main Street, one block. Well, it's um, a fairly new shade garden in progress. Um, with all these trees I have in front of my house, I had to find um, plants that would thrive. And based on both my neighbors, um, it's, it's um, been a lot of fun trying to um, get the plants um, that are suitable for a garden of this type. Uh, sure. My name is Lance from Tamaki. I'm living at 44 University Avenue. I'm a professor in communication and in the Department of Health Behavior. Creating sort of a cottage style uh, flower garden in the front and we'll be doing the same in the back but the back is not quite ready for viewing maybe next year. So, Your neighbor tells me uh, hand-me-downs from when your garden <laughs> Well for instance the silver mound in the front was uh, it grew out it grew up rather than out and I, what I think I'm going to do is thin it out by taking out one plant every other spot and uh, finding them new homes so that maybe they won't uh, be quite so bushy next year so she'll certainly inherit some of them so this is the goofball some people call her Maya like my next door neighbor but we call her the goof I'm Sylvia Williams Ferguson and uh, on Larchmont Road and I actually sit on the board of directors of the UB Alumni Association so I'm a novice gardener and uh, no rules apply here except just pick the weeds when you see them. <laughs> and if they're not big enough, you just ignore them. Oh, it's a, uh, an old ladder with staggered plants every other rung. Uh, same color this year, almost. Um, and just to utilize the, the finds that I found at a garage sale. My name's Ann McLeister. I work at the dental school. Um, I'm here on University Avenue. And I have a garden which we converted several years ago. We were like the second group, second family in the block to change from grass to something other than grass. Um, and we worked, really, we've worked, it's evolved. It keeps evolving. Every year there are new flowers put in. Things don't come back, which is always horrible. Um, then we went and did the backyard, and that's all finished. We have a pergola and lots of vegetables, and I put vegetables in here this year, but some of them didn't come up. I have beans, a couple other things. About once a year, we get a hummingbird sighting, and this year in the backyard, I was sitting there last Sunday, and we had a hummingbird come four different times to the sage, and then I was out here on Monday and he came by again he I don't know she it came by like four different times and then Tuesday morning we're eating breakfast up at the cherry tree hummingbird flew all over the cherry tree and then two of them flew back over the house so we've been particularly excited this year about that because I said hummingbirds 